Okay, guys, we're back in the game. We actually had network problems for the past two days. Now we're back. So it's working again. As you can see, guys, I had that amount on top. 80 bucks, 47 bucks at the bottom. The 80 bucks, I cashed it out before it even hit two. Why? Because that's what we do to protect our smaller stakes while still making money in the account, right? So you can see I have about 2.5 in this account, right? But I'm waiting for a bad hour, something like maybe a couple blues. Anyway, guys, so right now I also took this risk. I'm chasing pink right now. Oh, that didn't go to pink. But then remember, I'm here to teach you how to bet safe. Some people will tell you, ah, you should be staking high, staking high. Those people, they can play Aviator for two days straight. It knocks them out. So don't listen to those people. They are dumb. They don't know what they're doing. The smartest way is, you see the money I have in my account. You see the money I'm starting to stake right now. Very small compared to the amount in my account. This means I have more lives to play with in the game. Always make sure you have money in your account without having to deposit every time. Because some of you people, you're depositing every time, staking high, losing. Why don't you try to build small money? And if you can build small money, that means you're good enough to stake even bigger money but i always advise against it right so look at how how small i'm going right i just want i want to lose this bet so that i should show you what happens when you're losing bets but you start from a small amount so there was already a big bad hour that happened previously that's why i'm going to break the rule because i have a rule where i say if you lose three times you can you have to stop playing to recover. But then here, I'm just going to do whatever I want. Even if I lose three times, I'm still going to stake. Just to show you that if a long bad hour has also happened, it can't repeat. So even if this could be a bad hour, maybe we might catch two odds with this bet right here. But even if this is a bad hour, a bad hour starts from five blues, guys. It seems like it's about to be one of them. Because <laughs> now we had four blues. <coughs> So I'm still going to stake just the same amount so that we shouldn't blow too much of the money. As you can see, we was on 2.5. Now we're on 1.9. This is scary, man. But we're, we're going to recover from this. I want to demonstrate to you why staking low is wise. Damn. This didn't even reach where I wanted. Okay, so officially we've seen that this is a bad hour. I'm going to put a 3... Hundred on it. I hope it doesn't do six blues. Even if it does, I'm keep going. <sighs> Keeps doing them blues, man. But don't be afraid, guys. If you know what you're doing, you are sure that okay, it's gonna pay me back. Because that's what Aviera does. It has to pay you back. It has to give you two odds at some point. And here with my smaller bet. I'm going to try to chase maybe, yeah, that's fair enough for just recovering. Yeah, but with the smaller bit, we should just maybe be profitable. That time I was on 2.5. Let's just reach. Yeah, that's fair enough, man. I'm on 2.9. And it's a pink. Yeah, guys, but then as you can see, guys, this game is very easy. Now, some of you might be like, how do you know it's not going to go to another bad hour? It's because I watched the bad hour pass. 